All right, this is Ethan Smathers, my partner James Phelps, doing the fourth case study, the life cycle nutrition. Ours is an adolescent baseball team. Okay, nutrition for them. This is nutrition 2315, section 460. Uh, just a little background about me before we get started. I was a coach. I've coached for three years and I've done nutrition programs. I've done different things for athletics. So I'm going to run this like I would a team meeting, just like I would for my team when I did talk about this issue. All right, so to start out, we've got goals. Our goals are to increase performance, increase energy, increase hydration, and weight maintenance. Okay, when I say performance, I mean performance on the field, practice and game, in the weight room, okay? Building an endurance where we can keep going. Increased energy, okay? Having an energy level where I can still go at a high intensity situation, okay? Increased hydration. This will affect your energy. If you don't have, if you're not hydrated, you're going to lose energy. All right? And then weight maintenance. Some of us need to lose weight. I'm one of them. Some of us need to gain weight. Some of you need to maintain. I know we've lost some mass coming from football offseason into baseball just because of the amount of running, and we're not eating right. So we're going to address that issue today. Starting off, energy requirements. An expected energy requirement is a number calculated that tells you the amount of calories that your body should use in a day, depending on your age, your weight, your height, your age, and your activity level. All right? It's different for each person. Mine's going to be different from Coach McGee's, from, from uh, Mr. Phelps, from Barlow's, okay? It's going to be different. All right? I did, I did a calculation, I did it by hand. There's a long equation you can use. However, you can all write this link down. You're gonna do this for each of you, okay? You're gonna write this link down, go here, it's a calculator. It'll go, I'm gonna show you real quick how it works. All right, so here we are. I just clicked on the link, copied and pasted it in, right here. So, I'm gonna go here, age, however old you are. You'll do male, we're all males in the room, okay? It will work for a female, you just gotta click that option. Height is gonna be in inches, okay? Make sure you know how tall you are. If you're five four, that's gonna be five times 12, which is 60, plus the extra four inches, that's 64 inches, okay? And then your current weight, we're gonna get that at the end of this presentation, we're gonna go and take care of that. All right, like I said earlier, we're very active, okay? So what, what this means, you click on here, it'll probably show sedentary to start, okay? Sedentary means you're not doing anything. Low active, you're doing a little. Active, you may be coming, you may be walking around the track, but you're not really pushing yourself. Very active is us. Okay guys, we're at practice, we're pushing hard for two or three hours. We're in the weight room a couple times a week. All right, so. That's where we're at. That's what you need to click. When you do that, it'll give you your number, okay? All right, so when I did the sample, I did the sample off a 17-year-old boy, five foot nine inches, which is 69 inches, okay? He's, he's very active, once again, because he plays baseball. He's in practice with us. He's going, he's doing. His daily requirement is 4,322.7 calories per day. Okay, we'll round that up, 4,323 calories. You've got to be somewhere in there to break even and maintain weight. All right? This is what your body has to have daily if this is, your, if this is you. 5'9", 175, 17 years old. That's what your body needs daily. Okay? So we're going to show you what happens when you don't do it. Here's a bad meal plan. A lot of you don't eat breakfast. You tell me daily, I'm tired, I didn't eat breakfast. Okay? So, zero calories at breakfast, then lunch. We're gonna eat some chicken nuggets, some french fries, and one can of Coke, okay? Coke, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, doesn't really matter. It's a Coke, okay? I did Coke Coke. Dinner, okay? 1,338 calories. That's three slices of pizza, all right? A bag of Doritos and another can of Coke, all right? That's not a lot of calories so far, right? Snacks, 308 calories. So after workouts, eat oatmeal cream pie. Eat a Twinkie between, uh, right before you go to bed, something like that, okay? You look at that. That person needs to take in 4,000, 
323. So 22.7. We're going to round up to 23 calories a day. And this is what it took in. Take the difference. We're at minus. That's why I put it in red. It's negative. Minus 1,780 calories. Okay? This is what you're losing if this is how you're eating. It's not good. Not only are you losing energy, you're losing the requirements. Your body's taking the nutrients that you have stored up and it's eating it. All right? You're losing nutrients. That meal there that I just showed you, you didn't get a lot of nutrients. Okay? So we need to focus on that. So now I'm going to show you the, the meal plan that I want you to have. It's an example. You don't have to do this exact meal plan. You don't have to eat these exact meals, but you need to do something similar. Okay? You should be in this ballpark if you're 5'9", 175. Some of you, you're going to eat a little less. Some of you, you're going to eat a little more. For breakfast, you're going to eat right at 1,000 calories, 984 calories. Okay? Four eggs, scramble them. It's not hard. Four eggs, scramble. That's 288 calories. One cup of oatmeal. Not hard, right? 166 calories. Don't put your sugar in the oatmeal, just eat it plain. You'll get, you'll get enough, okay? Two slices of wheat bread. Don't get white, eat wheat. It's better for you, okay? 154 calories. And then on that, tea, on that bread, what I do is I toast it and then I put some peanut butter on it. I've allowed for four tablespoons of peanut butter, okay? That's 378 calories. That's your breakfast. That's gonna hold you till lunch, I promise. That's going to hold you. <laughs> All right, for lunch, 778 calories, a little lighter meal, but we've got snacks that you can put in between lunch and workouts. Then we got a snack for after workout, okay? Then we got a snack before you go to bed. It's no big deal. You can snack whenever. All right, we're going to eat grilled chicken breast for 198 calories. A cup of black beans for 218 calories. A cup of rice for 205. We're going to drink a bottle of Gatorade. This will help with your electrolytes. Put salt on your things, okay? Get a little electrolytes back in you. Dinner, 10 ounces of grilled salmon, 584 calories. A medium baked potato, don't get the big ones. Don't get the little bitty ones and try to pull that off. Get a good size, little medium baked potato, all right? You're gonna put a tablespoon of butter in there for a little flavor, an ounce of shredded cheese, okay? I get shredded cheddar, that's what I like, that's what I built, built this off of, okay? Cup of green beans, you notice green beans aren't in hardly any calories. No big deal, okay? Now, we're gonna do some chocolate milk with your supper. That's to help you recover. When are you eating supper? After practice, right? You need to recover. That eight ounces of chocolate milk is gonna help you recover. All right, let's get to your snacks. Snacks, Cliff Bar. 235, you can get them at any gas station. I give you a Gatorade Recovery Protein Bar. It's 340 calories. It's that whey protein bar I give you almost every day. Eat one of those. One of the easiest way to do it is to make a peanut butter, banana, honey sandwich, okay? I got this listed right here. You ready? You take that banana, you slice it up. You put two tablespoons of peanut butter on one slice of wheat bread. Wheat, not white. Okay, one slice of wheat bread. Put two tablespoons of peanut butter. Put your banana. Put almost two tablespoons of honey. I did a one and seven eighths, okay? You can tweak that a little bit, not much. All right, put that on there. Put two, two tablespoons of peanut butter on the other slice of wheat bread, slap it together. You got a good meal. That's nice, that's filling. We tell you all the time, peanut butter sandwiches. All right. Water intake, you need to be drinking about 100 to 126 ounces of water a day. That's almost a gallon on the top side. 126 is almost a gallon, or it is a gallon rather, okay? You need to drink that much. You're gonna sweat it out, all right? Water is key to performance. Dehydration is your enemy. So, mild dehydration symptoms. You're thirsty, you lost a little weight, your skin's dry, your mouth's dry. You're feeling weak, concentrated urine. If your pee is yellow, you're dehydrated. You should be peeing clear, okay? And then decreased performance. What are the two that we're really worried about? These two, okay? Mild dehydration. If you continue to not drink, 
you can go into severe dehydration, okay? Pale skin, blue lips and fingertips, okay? No, they're not gonna be Smurf blue, okay? But they'll have a blue tint to them. They'll have a color to them. You'll be confused. You'll be breathing pretty quick and shallow, okay? Your pulse is gonna be weak and irregular. Your blood's gonna get thick. It's gonna cause shocks, which can cause seizures, which will then cause a coma. And a lot of times coma causes death, okay? We don't wanna get here. We really don't wanna be at mild, okay? So we need to drink enough water. So what's the game plan? You know me, I like to make a game plan. Here it is. We're gonna make better choices as a team. I'm doing it too. We're gonna to make better choices. We're gonna eat enough calories to perform well. We're gonna maintain a safe level of hydration. We're gonna maintain a healthy weight, okay? This is what we're gonna do. That's our game plan. So first thing you gotta do, you've gotta calculate your energy requirements. I showed you the calculator. Get on there, use it, figure out what you need. Download My Fitness Pal on your phone, okay? Get out your phone, My Fitness Pal, log in free. You don't have to do anything but track your calories. I want to see, I'm going to see this number and I'm going to keep your energy requirements. And then I'm going to look every day at your calories. Okay? You're going to drink, drink, drink again and drink some more water. You shouldn't be thirsty. Your urine should be clear. Okay? We're going to weigh weekly. We're about to go away now. Then we're going to weigh next week. And I'm going to keep going. We're going to keep looking at it. You're going to show me your daily intake. That includes how much water you drank that day. Okay? Easiest thing to do, get a gallon jug. If not, get bottles. Get one little bottle and then fill it up and keep track of how many times you fill it up. Put it in your My Fitness pouch. Okay? I think that's it. Any questions? All right, if not, let's go 